What's going on with all my billionaires out there? This the guy who is billionaire. Welcome to Hood's Billionaire TV. Big favor, big abundance on today's episode. We gonna be talking about the Dallas Cowboys, Green Bay Packers recap. Uh, it took me a while. Let's talk about it before I leave. Let's talk about it. I had to get right in because it's like, man, this shit. It hurt me so bad to watch that game yesterday. Like, I don't even know where to start. Um. I'll start with the fact that we got to do something about our run defense. We got to fix our run defense. Our run defense is horrible. Everybody running on us. Everybody is running on us. And right now, <coughs> bless me. Right now, it's just looking bad. <coughs> bless me. <coughs> but uh, uh, it's just looking bad right now, man. You know what I'm saying? That run defense is not looking good. Everybody just running it right down our throat. I, I hate seeing it. You know what I'm saying? It, it damn near feel like it ain't nothing we can do to stop it. I really wish we would have got Roquan Smith because we need to shore up that middle. We need we need better linebackers and we need a we need a bigger D tackle presence because this 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 run defense is just horrible. And I hope the defense feel bad because they really, you know, a big part of losing that game. It's no way we give our defense a 28-14 lead in the fourth quarter and they let it go and they blow it. RD? I never would think that. I never think that RD would blow a fucking 28-14 lead in the fucking fourth quarter. What type of shit is that? Y'all calling them championship caliber. That, that That's not no championship caliber shit. That is not no championship caliber shit to lose no game like that. That's number one. I'm battling a little bit of a cold, so y'all going to have to bear with me. Now, next, we going to talk about Dak. Look, y'all, I love Dak just like everybody else loved Dak. You know, he's a really good guy. He got a really good spirit. But I'm going to tell y'all what I see. I'm about to tell y'all what I see. Dak in the big moments plays his smallest. I love Dak. This is what I'm seeing from him. Dak cannot go win you a game when you need him. Dak, we needed you. When they when we were up 28-14, when they scored that next touchdown to make it 21-28, you're supposed to go right back down and answer and score. And make it 35-21. That's what you're supposed to do. You're supposed to do that shit right then. You hear what I'm saying? You're supposed to do that shit right then. Shit don't make no sense. Right then and there, you're supposed to do that, man. You feel what I'm saying? Shit don't make no sense, man. You're supposed to go up right then, go back and score 35-21, and now they don't got enough time to go get two more scores, three more scores. Then the shit went into overtime. Dak, you can't lead us down in an overtime drive to get a touchdown. Come on, Dak. Come on, Dak. Come on, buddy. I got to put some blame on you. I got to. You had way too many opportunities to win us that game. That's why they paying you $40 million. Huh? I'm talking to you, Dak. Take the what and leave the what? I'm talking to you. I'm not going to lie. I heard how son can be saying that off that shot us. That's one of Me and my niggas quote that line a lot. That's the only reason I said it. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to, to Campbell, though. But yeah, man. You feel what I'm saying? It is what it is, man. This man, I mean, it's a lot of different things, man. It's a lot of things that we got to We got to fix the run defense. Shout out run defense. Now some bright spots. Shout out C.D. Lamb. Shout out C.D. Lamb. C.D. Lamb balled out. But one thing that I do know, when we throw the ball more than we run it, we typically lose. It don't matter how the numbers look. Should have just kept running it with Pollard. Pollard got 20 touches and he got over 100 yards. Nigga should have had 25 touches. Matter of fact, we just shouldn't even have lost this game. You know, I got to really put a, the biggest majority blame on the defense and on Dak Prescott. And I got to give Mike McCarthy a little bit of blame. Even though I wasn't tripping off that fourth and four, we need to go in and just kick that field goal. Maher been on fire this year. Kick the field goal and let our defense that we claim is a championship caliber defense. 
We kicking it the other way And now you gotta drive the length of the field To either score or to get in field goal position And get in field goal range You feel what I'm saying? You, you, we, we should have made it harder for them So I gotta give Mike McCarthy some blame too I gotta give him some too But Hopefully we can get this fixed man Odell we need you you know what I'm saying? And we, we got to do something about this defense in the offseason, man. If we really want to make this a championship caliber defense, we need t- t- championship caliber linebackers. And we need to put Micah on the D-line. Put Micah on the D-line and get some championship caliber linebackers, bro. And that's how we going to fix this run defense and get a big D-tackle. We got to fix this shit, man. I'm sick of it. I'm fucking sick of it, man. But y'all let me know what y'all think in the comments, man. This nigga Aaron Rodgers on us, bro. I'm so sick of Aaron owning us. This nigga Aaron, man. I'm telling you, I'm just tired of it, man. I'm tired of seeing this nigga. I fuck with Aaron Rodgers, though, man. You feel what I'm saying? He's really, he, he is, he's a really positive, zenful guy. You feel what I'm saying? I understand that energy. You know what I'm saying? So, but it is what it is, man. It's the God Hoods being her big favor, big abundance. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Like, share, subscribe. It's the God Hoods being her big favor, big abundance. I'm gone.